Hello everyone, the previous video was about uh, meshing floors and walls. I will assign shell and beam loads in this video. Shell load we will assign dead super and live. For dead super we have floor finishing loads. You have to calculate the floor finishing loads. It depends on the tiling system that will be used for this project. For example, in my region, it's common to put 10 centimeters or maybe 15 centimeters of aggregates, 2 centimeters of concrete and the ceramic, ceramic tiles. So I will use 2 kN per meter square. Wall loads, it depends on the, wall, on the slab. If you, you are using gripped slab or flat plate, in our case we will use a uh, flat plate maybe a flat slab or ribbed slab then you can put the wall anywhere on the slab then assign it as area wall area uh, load but if you are using one way uh, solid slab or any thin solid slab then you can not put the wall uh, anywhere you have to put the wall on a drop beam then you will assign the walls load on the beams in our case, we have to calculate the wall load per meter square. Uh, we'll, I will use a 3 kN per meter square. Then 2 plus 3, 5. Go to E-tabs. Go to any plan. Select. Choose all stories. It's important. Choose all stories. Select and check that you have 9 shells selected. Assign shell loads uniform and 5 kN per meter square select dead super uh, this will make no difference we ha don't have uh, dead super uh, loads before and apply check all stories 5 you can right click and loads 5 kN per meter square check all floors live loads go to table 16a in the UBC Table 16A in UBC for residential buildings basic floor area equal 60 no uh, 40 to convert to kilonewton per meter square multiply by 0 0.049 40 times 0 0.04 9479 1.9 uh, I will take it 2 as we see 2 for balconies in the same section exterior balconies 60 60 times 0 0.0479 2.8 I will take uh, 3 or 2.9 and for stairs we can in exit facilities we see this small 5 such as stairways so 100 times times 0 0.0479 4.79 I will take it 4.8 so in etabs we have small balconies here so I didn't uh, divide this uh, uh, slab for the balconies I will take uh, 2 or I will assign this 2 kN per meter square for all slabs if you want to add uh, the balconies load you can assign or you can draw a non section here and add or divide the balconies and add the uh, the load for it I will not do this for now for simplicity uh, select all stories Make sure to select 9 shells because we have 9 floors. Assign shell, no shell loads, uniform, and 
to select live apply and check all stories right click on the slab you can see live uniform 2 okay for the stairs loads uh, you can model model this uh, stair in sap i did that and get the uh, loads apply apply this live load on the uh, slabs and on the stairs in sap and get the loads i have on beam loads 20 kN per meter square as a dead super and live 10 kN per meter square so you have to model this stairs on uh, the sap on sap software i will do this later in separated video then get the reactions and apply them on this beam you can draw a non slab or very thin uh, beam to apply loads we will not uh, design the slabs in e tabs we will design them in uh, uh, safe so you can just apply the loads here and when we uh, export this model to safe we will apply the or we will model the stairs in the right way okay for now I will draw a small section or I will draw a non section go to frames none and draw from here on all stories select these two beams we have 18 uh, frames selected assign frame loads and distributed maybe later on we will get an error for that then we will uh, we will define a small maybe 10 by 10 uh, centimeters beam and apply the load we only need these loads to calculate the base shear we don't want uh, to design the slabs in e tabs so dead super as we see we got the reactions these reactions from uh, sap model i will uh, uh, show that later uh, it's dead super 10 and live 10 dead super 20 dead super 20 and live 10 you have to previous select and apply you can check it right click on the beam loads 20 and 10 check all slabs and that's it now we have assigned uh, these loads uh, super dead and the live loads on these slabs as, as I said before make sure to uh, add to divide uh, the balconies and add the extra loads you can model uh, the uh, stairs on sap and uh, get the reactions and apply it on these beams as I did or you can just close this slab and apply the stairway uh, loads or you can uh, model the incline uh, the stairs as inclined slabs and uh, apply the loads you don't you don't ha you will not design uh, the slabs in e tabs you can design it on, on items but we will design it in uh, s safe so you just want these loads to calculate the base shear uh, I will in my region we don't have snow it's not common to uh, apply snow loads and draining loads uh, if you have snow then you uh, will have to apply the snow loads and uh, I applied normal loads on the roof too maybe you will have an inclined roof or something like that so you have to calculate the roof loads and that's it for this video